what's up youtube next week in destiny we're going to be getting the birthplace of the vile for the nightfall in the crucible we're going to be getting clash and showdown and the rotators for next week are the root of nightmares for the raid the ghost of the deep for the dungeon the exotic mission will be the presage and we're going to be getting bonus points towards crucible rewards this week you can find zero over at the edz by the winding cove just head up over here by the ship and once you're here, Zer will have the Arbalist Linear Fusion Rifle this week. Compounding Force. Fire slugs that cause massive damage to combatant shields. Strong against barrier champions. This requires the Forsaken pack. Up next, we got the Kepri Sting Gauntlets for my Hunters with a total of 63. With spread out stats and 18 strength. Touch of Venom. Instant smoke bomb with true sight and improved damage. Not bad. Up next, we have the Mark 44 stand aside. The leg armor for my Titans with a total of 68. With spread out stats. With 16 resilience and 15 recovery and discipline. Seriously, watch out. Safe shoulder charge abilities. And then we have the Karnstein armlets for my Warlocks with a total of 67 with 25 recovery. I've seen better. Vampire's Caress. Melee kills restore health for a short duration. Sounds good for PvE. Now for the exotic weapon this week, we got a Hawk Moon with Killing Wind. Not the best PvP roll, but it's up there. For our legendary weapons this week, we have the True Prophecy Hand Cannon with Field Prep Elemental Capacitor. The Nature of the Beast with Snapshots and Rangefinder. That used to be a really good roll, but I'm pretty sure they nerfed Rangefinder. Then we got the Blood Feud Submachine Gun with Ambitious Assassin and Headstone. The Deafening Whisper Grenade Launcher with Surplus and Threat Detector. The Soul Survivor Sniper Rifle with Eddie Current and Frenzy. The Seventh Seraph Saw with Auto Loading Holster and Opening Shot. Not bad. Not bad for PvE. And the Bump in the Night Rocket Launcher with Demolitionist and Chill Clip. Not bad for the Legendary Weapons. Now let's hope the armor is good this week. We got the Edelon Pursuant set this week, and we're going to start it off with 52 gauntlets for my Warlocks. Along with a 55 chest piece, a 54 helmet, and a fi and 52 pants. If your favorite color is green, then you're in luck this week. So it looks like we have horrible armor, but at least it's stylish. And for my Titans this week, we got 52 gauntlets, a 53 chest piece, a 56 helmet and 51 boots. It's not looking good. And last but not least for my hunters, we have a 54 gauntlets, a 50 chest piece, a 50 helmet, and 51 leg armor. Like I said, if you like the way the armor looks, then this weekend's for you. But stat wise, the armor is trash. And that seems to wrap it up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace!